Hola. Bueno. Hello, this is Aaron with Anet Computers from AnetComputers.com with another possible potential fix for a problem you might be receiving. This one is really, really specific to one specific software. Labels Design, how to fix Label Designer Deluxe Clav, C-L-A-V-A-D-V.dll error. This software comes from AvonQuest, but I do not get paid by them to talk about their software. Are you not able to get your Label Designer Deluxe program to start? Does it keep coming up with a message that it does not have Clav Adv, C L A V A D V dot D L L installed? If so, check out this potential fix. So, some people that are using AvonQuest Label Designer Deluxe programs, there's different versions. They might, when they go to open up that program, they might re receive this type of error. And hopefully, this is a potential potential fix for that error if you are also receiving it. For whatever reason, a couple of system.dll files are not up to date on your computer. You will need to download two system.dll files onto a specific location on your computer. This tutorial will walk you through a process of downloading and then registering those newer system.dll files. So you have to download two files and then you just you have to register them into the Windows registry so that Windows registry knows that they are available and then they will be used. Make sure to overwrite any existing .dll files if prompted by clicking on yes or ok. Browse to a software AvonQuest web page. Click on a choose a product drop down list under find your product in the drop down below to get support. So we shall go out there. And I will leave a link to my website, anetcomputers.com, to this exact specific blog post so that you can quickly find this link. So now that we are out there, you, you have to just click go. I'm not sure why this doesn't work anymore, but whatever. So you just click go. If their website, okay, there we go. We do not want to choose a developer, unless you are a developer, but we want to choose under product, and then we want to choose My Label Designer. This blog post was written specifically for My Label Designer, but if you do use AvonQuest software, it's possible that you are receiving that same error or a similar error. And then you would want to pick whatever specific software that you are using. So we'll go down all the way to My Labor Designer. Deluxe. And we'll select it. Then you can search among facts or there's a powerful search engine. And we can go back and we'll just search among facts, FAQs. And then you want to search for this specific. So once you select My Label Designer in that drop down list, you then will be sent to the My Label Designer support page, which I showed you. And then you want to click on a search link. And then you want to copy and paste this error without quotes. So do not include those quotes. I just, on my blog posts, I like to add quotes. Perhaps maybe that's not a good way to write my blog posts that might confuse people. But that's just a way to highlight and then, you know, get it quoted. It's quote, it's verbatim. Maybe, ne maybe I should start using bold. But anyways, and then this entire error, and you want to choose which one you're using. You might have My Label Designer Deluxe 9, My Label Designer Deluxe 8, My Labels Premium 7, My Labels 3. Well, how about choose this one? Number 8. As you can see, there already there's already a tons of errors, lots of errors. So what you could do is just use your search, do a control F on your computer, it doesn't exist. Maybe that program doesn't have that issue, but it has other issues.
with DLL errors. Let's, how about choose this one? That one is right there. So you don't even need to use a search tool anymore. But yes, I would recommend that you choose the, in that first drop down list, you have to choose the exact program. Then you, you have to even clarify further. You have to tell this website what exact version. If you're using My Label Designer 9, is where this error and it's right here on the top one just select it and you get to this page another way you can do that might be quicker is you can go out to Google and this is a pretty specific error just copy and paste that error search and BAM it's the first page which basically this one's updated so you know what this one is July 1st of 2010, that's probably when I obtained these instructions was probably from this post. So it's been four years, quite a few years, but I think I might use this newer, the instructions look similar. And, but I think I'm going to use this update. You can, I don't think there's much difference. I mean, you'd have to go read through, but just to update, just to be more current I think I'll use this newer page although just looking glancing at it it doesn't look a whole lot of different but you never know there might be just some something you know one command difference or it shouldn't be any one command all you do is you have to download two DLL files and then just register them into the Windows registry so I will show you how see this is a little bit different this is clack ADV, and then you want to verify, yes, 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 yes. And then notice how the, the even the error says or. So you might be having a problem with just clack adv.dll or clack stmp.dll does not exist. Or maybe both. You just never know. During starter program, error message. This error indicates that some... System DLL files are not up to date and the program cannot run properly. To correct this, you need to download two new system DLL files to a specific location on your computer. So I basically stipulated that in blog post, but these are the exact steps you want to use. Please perform the following steps. Number one, click on the clack stmp.dll as my dumb device, I mean my smart device, notifies me that I have a message. Link below to start the download. Oh, I'm getting messages up the wazoo. But let me complete this video for you. So number two. So click on the clack.stamp.dll link below and we'll show you to start the download. Number two, when prompted, choose the save option. You do not want to run. You want to save it to your computer. Number three, save the file to the following location. And you must save it to this exact location. See program files, common files, my software. See program files, common files, my software. Number four, click on the clack adv.dll link below to start to download. Yes. Number five, when prompted, choose the save option. Yes. Reiteration. Number six, save the file to the same location. See program files, common files, my software. So as you notice, you're going to download two new DLL files. And you want to save them in this exact folder. Otherwise, no bueno, no good. You're not going to solve your problem. Number seven, click on the start button. Number eight, click on the run option. Number nine, type or copy and paste the following into the, the run window. I recommend copying and pasting. Just highlight it, the entire, no, no spaces, nothing afterwards, just like that. Right click, copy, then on Windows XP, Vista 7 or 8, click your start button, which would be here. I don't, I'm not using Windows right now. Click on, and then you would select the run option, and then right click into the run box, and then, whoops, well, it's not, it, I can't really. <laughs> Anyways, right click, and you have a little pop-up, and then select paste. It Then it'll paste it into the run option, and then once you paste it into the run option, Step 10, click the OK button. You will get a message that the file was successfully registered. Number 11, click on the Start button. 12, click on the Run option. Thir step 13, type or copy, paste the following into the Run op window. I, again, I recommend highlighting, right-clicking, copy, 
And then you save a lot of typing time, and, you, and then this is verbatim. This shouldn't be incorrect. Same thing. Windows XP, Vista 7 or 8, click Start button, lower left-hand corner, select the Run box, and then right-click into the Run box and select Paste, and you will notice that this command right here gets pasted. Then click OK, and then it will run that. And then you should receive a message you will get a message that the file was successfully registered as long as you typed it or copy and pasted both of these commands the sit verbatim and you notice they're different so you what you're doing is you are registering this file into Windows registry so that it knows it's there so that it knows to look for it and this is for the clacstmp.dll and this is for the CLACADV.dll. So there's two files that you download and then register. Close all windows and launch the program. Note, when saving the files, if you are prompted to replace an existing file, click the yes or okay button. Yes, you want to overwrite that old file because you are downloading and then you are updating a newer file, a newer version of that file. Also, if you do not get the message stating that the file was successfully registered, then something was entered incorrectly. Please try copying and pasting the text into the run window. That's what I recommend. And then these are the links to download. So your first set of instructions said to download this file. So Select, just click on it and then click save file. You want to save it. You don't want to try to run it. You just want to save it to your wherever you like to save your files, your downloads or your desktop or where, wherever you normally save your downloaded files because you need to know where that file gets saved to. Then, same thing with this other file, clacadv.dll. Click on it, left click, save file to wherever it's easiest for you. Then, once you save those files, again, the first file, clack, stamp.dll, you want to save it to this folder, which is the same folder. So, that one you don't have to worry about as much. Save both files to this exact directory, and then continue on with your instructions, and then you should see two successful messages saying that your that DLL was successfully registered in Windows registry then try to open up my labels designer deluxe it looks like probably version 9 but there but you might have other avonsoft avonquest software that's getting that same error or a different version of my labels designer deluxe anyways Hopefully these tips fix this problem that you're having and then you can now label away and start making labels, get to work. I'm being facetious, but anyways, hopefully these tips help. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other potential possible fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.